This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to synchronize a multicam clip using common markers or a common in. Notice at the very beginning of this clip, I set a marker. If I double click on a marker, notice that the marker has been given the name Slate, and it's just a standard comment marker. In fact, with all three of these clips, I've given myself a marker, and in all three cases, the marker has the same name called Slate. It's that moment in time where the slate comes down. I could synchronize by setting an in. Find the spot that I want this to be an in, say there, type the letter I, and I've synchronized based on the in. The benefit to syncing on the in is it's easy to set. Type the letter I and the in is set. With a marker, you have to name every marker exactly the same. All three markers, in this case, use the word slate or start or beginning or whatever you want to call it. But the disadvantage to using ins is that as soon as I create the multicam clip, I lose access to all the video before the in on each of these clips. Maybe I want that. When I'm syncing based upon markers, I don't lose all that extra video. So I'm going to use markers. The process is the same. Set a marker, and all markers must have the same name, or set an in as your sync point on each clip, or set an out as a sync point on each clip. Say the cameras couldn't start recording at the same time. You sync based upon the out rather than the in at the beginning. In this case, I have a marker. I'm a big fan of of recording clapper slates and audio. So if the audio sync doesn't work, I've got a clapper slate to rely on. I don't want to ever be in a position where I can't synchronize my videos. Select the clips, go to clip, multicam source sequence, synchronized based upon in, could be, or marker. Notice that it gives me a list of all the markers in each clip. I want to synchronize on slate, which is the same marker in all the clips. I'm not going to move it to a processed clip bin because I know they all sync. I don't need to have it go one more level deep in the project panel. And the rest of the settings are fine, except I'm going to call this dramatic multicam. Now watch how fast this syncs in two, one, woof, synced. Unbelievably quick. Markers and ins and outs and time code are far faster than syncing on audio. Double click. Only the wide shot cameras recording. Now they're all there, except it'd be nice if Andrew on the left was looking at Lisa on the right. So I'm going to change my order. Go to the flyout menu, go down to edit cameras, grab Andrew, drag him up there, click OK. And now I've got my camera orders the way I want left, right, and center. Let's find an in just before Lisa reaches out. There we go. Type the letter in. It's a 45 second scene. All right about there. Type the letter O to set an out. Edit it down to the timeline. And because I haven't changed the configuration, there's our multiple angles. There's our preview window. We're ready to start play and start editing. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at multicam editing inside Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 133. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. Access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than eight hundred movies, dozens of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz/slash subscriptions. Thanks.